So I'm going to go ahead and move forward right now and kind of clear the dungeon. <laughs> it's just so crazy. Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this is going to be a Diablo 4 video. Super fun one. I am having a blast trying this out, and I found a really fun combo here in Season 1 around this new legendary, the Lidless Wall. Now, what this is going to do is lucky hit while you have an active Bone Storm, hitting an unaffected enemy has a 20% chance, up to a 25% chance, mine's a 20, to spawn an additional storm at their location. And each of your sacrifice bonuses increases the chance by 25% of the total additional bone storms you have by plus one. So what that means is in my book of the dead that I pull up, right now I have three different sacrifice bonuses and what that's going to do is scale it up it says here each of your active sacrifice bonuses increase the chance by 25 percent so i've got three sacrifice bonuses so 25 times three we're going to increase that by 75 percent and also the total additional bone storms you can have by plus one so that means i can get three extra bone storms from those sacrifice bonuses and all of those bone storms that this is casting for free, it's not just a skill. It's not like Decrepify or Bone Spear or something. Bone Storm is an ultimate that has a one minute cooldown. As you can see right here on our skill tree, cooldown of 60 seconds on Bone Storm, but we're bypassing that. We're doing it for free constantly with these procs. And also, the modifiers Bone Storm gives us are completely ridiculous. We're going to get 15% damage reduction, and we're going to get 20% crit chance. So we're going to permanently, the whole time we're playing, have ultimates spawning all over the screen while getting damage reduction and increased crit chance that can almost cap us to getting 100% crit. And if you do want to spam with it, if you've got skills you want to cast that synergize with this, it's going to do Lucky Hits Restore up to 21% of your primary resource, and it gives us attack speed. But okay, let me show you this in action, and I'm not even going to attack. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to walk around and do my basic ability to hit things. I'm going to let Bone Storms just passively kill everything, and I haven't even min-maxed this. I haven't done the Paragon board for this, or the Glyphs. And I haven't even changed my gear at all to get like damage to scale up with ultimate abilities. I literally haven't done anything to synergize with this. I'm just kind of testing it out here as I'm playing in season one. And I want to showcase this for you. So all we have to do is cast Bone Storm. And then as long as we're doing our basic and we're hitting enemies that aren't affected by Bone Storm, it's going to then chain it and cast more on the screen. So as I come up to mobs, I have a Bone Storm rolling. And now look at this. There you see there's another one back there on the bottom right. There's two of them. Proking. Oh, there's third. There's four. We're just constantly... I, ha I haven't even done anything. I'm just doing my basic ability right now. That's all I'm doing. I'm running through World Tier 4, and I'm doing my... I, I just have my basic spamming left click on people, and look at everything dying. With permanent, oh, close to 100% crit rate, coming up to an elite pack here. And boom. I'm just kind of watching everything die around me, and like, without even... I I'm just like auto-clearing World Tier 4. Oh, here's a room with an objective here. So we've got the Spire right here. Bone Storm is still up, by the way. It's doing everything. I just kind of got to keep it spawning in all the areas and it's popping everything for me. Right now, I'm literally just spamming my basic ability and I'm walking through World Tier 4 without having, I'm, I'm literally just like looking at the camera talking and I have Bone Storm ultimates all over the entire screen. So just imagine if I was actually synergizing with this and building for it, like actually getting optimized rolls on my gear and actually switching my Paragon board and actually spending my essence on something, whether it's shooting out bone spears to proc more stuff or switching over to having summons to go along with that. I might try that, but the summons are going to be a little bit of a double-edged sword. You'll get a little bit more damage and passive stuff on the screen, so you can walk through and do a little bit more, but you're going to be losing the consistency of those Bone Storm procs with every sacrifice bonus you don't have, and obviously, if you're bringing summons, you're going to start losing these sacrifice bonuses, so they kind of scale it in a way so it won't be uber broken, like doing this with full summons and everything. You kind of have to pick and choose. Do you want the higher chance of the Bone Storms proccing, or do you want to go with more summons? But there's still all sorts of different possibilities I can go with. I can just do like the Bone Spear build with it, send a Bone Spear into a room, have it proc a bunch of stuff, and then have Bone Storm just kind of clean up the trash. 
or I could do like a blood style with constant stuff blowing up and exploding. There's all sorts of different ways that I could play around with this, trying to get some of the summons, at least get like a golem out there or have some mages pop up behind me that are kind of blasting off and clearing the trash. There's all sorts of different ways I'm going to play around with trying to optimize around this because I think it's a really fun item that people will enjoy playing with here in season one. And this is what a unique item should be. It should be attainable. I found one before level 80. I'm grinding and I was rewarded with finding a cool unique. It should be defining. It should do something cool. It should bring something new to the game in terms of a play style. It does that. And it should be impactful. It does that. So it's kind of all three things you're looking for in a unique. So a really good design here on the lidless wall item. I'm having a lot of fun at testing it out. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward right now and kind of clear the dungeon. <laughs> it's just so crazy. I'm going to clear this dungeon and I'm going to show you the damage that it does on the boss really quick. You do kind of want to make sure you're hitting things as you're progressing through the dungeon. See how I spawn another bone storm. That way I can keep it up permanently. I haven't had to cast another bone storm yet. It's just like you can see my bar. It's on cooldown. I haven't had to do one yet. I'm just walking through the dungeon and I'm making sure I kind of hit things behind me and stuff to keep it up. As long as you're consuming corpses and stuff, there is an aspect. See like right there, I'm hitting that. Okay, sorry, quick jump in here from Editor Chosen because I forgot to clarify what aspect I was talking about and it's super important if you're doing this build around the Lidless Wall. It's a great synergy. So this Osseus Gale is going to do Bone Storm Consumes up to eight corpses to increase its duration by up to 10 seconds, which is absolutely massive because Bone Storm has a full duration of 10 seconds by default. So you're basically doubling it by using corpses to do that. So as long as you're moving through and you're clearing content, you're gonna double the duration of Bone Storm, which synergizes with Live This Wall because you have to have a Bone Storm active to keep chaining that effect and spawning new ones. Okay, so now I'm coming up to the boss fight and let's see what it can do here. Let's drop a few corpses. Let's get ready for that. We got our Bone Storm and I'm just gonna let Bone Storm kill the boss here. Like I, I could have probably already killed it if I was spamming bone spears or something, but let's just see how the bone storm does here against the boss in world tier four. And again, like I said, I, I haven't done anything to synergize with it. I haven't like put paragon points into it or anything like it would have probably already done it, but this is just auto clearing. I'm just casting my basic and letting the bone storms that kind of passively proc on the map kill the boss and boom, there we have it. So yeah, I think this is super fun and worth looking into. If you're playing the Necromancer, this is a really fun, unique. And what I want to do is find a way to be able to lazily farm and take advantage of some of these AOE clear ultimates and find out what the best synergies are for it. Like adding in skeleton mages or adding in a golem or something that I can do to mix around with different glyphs and different paragon boards and figure out a way to kind of lazily farm as we're walking through here with our necromancer to be able to speed farm XP and clear world to your four and clear some of those nightmare dungeons in like the thirties and forties when you're just trying to really get up and rolling and be able to passively farm to get a cracked out account here in season one. And honestly, I can find a way better live this wall. All of the rolls are mid. There really isn't anything that's maxed out. And my chance to proc the bone storm is 20% instead of 25, which is big. But it is super unfortunate that the range goes all the way down to five. That's going to be a big bummer if you find one that is a 5% chance. You definitely can't do a version where you lose out on some of the sacrifice bonuses if you roll like a five or a 10. But if you at least get like a 15 or a 20, it's going to be usable. I want to farm until I find a 25% because then I can try to add in things like skeletal mages or something. So yeah, I will continue testing and it would mean a lot to earn your subscription down below if you enjoy daily Diablo 4 content. I will see you soon in the next video. Appreciate all of you. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.